guys, so today's video is going to be um, a video about my nose piercing. Um, I really wasn't going to do a video about my nose piercing as I thought like, I don't know, most people kind of know the general idea about a nose piercing but all of you guys were asking me to do a video about my nose piercing so I guess I'm not going to say no. So. Yeah, um, I guess I'll just give you guys a little bit of information about my nose piercing, how long it took to heal and everything. To be honest with you guys, I don't know a hell of a lot about just the basic nose piercing. It's just one of those piercings that you get done without really researching first because it's pretty basic piercing and it's, you know, yeah. I guess I'll just share with you guys what I know about it. So I guess I hope you guys just enjoy this video. So I've literally had my nose pierced for um, for nearly five years now. So I've had it done for quite some time. Um, I got it done when I was about 15 and, um, sorry, itchy nose. Uh, my nose always goes itchy when I'm filming, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, um, I'll just explain to you guys how I got it pierced. Um, I got it done at a piercing, hair piercing, hair salon place that did piercings in a shopping center near where I lived and they pierced it with a gun and I know you're not supposed to get any piercings with a gun but at the time they did it with a gun I thought that was okay this was back when I had really no idea about piercings so I did get my pierced with a gun but I do recommend that you guys don't get it pierced with a gun always get it pierced um with a needle and the girls in this store were only qualified to do ear and nose piercings so they weren't proper facial piercing people but anyway on to that I got it pierced with a gun um I had to leave this certain bar that they gave me I, it's really hard for me to refresh my memory back this far guys so if I miss stuff then please forgive me um I had to keep that bar in for at least six weeks, I think, before changing it, which um, I didn't. The whole thing with me was my school had a big issue with facial piercings and we had to wear clear bars. So after a fair few weeks, I was told I need to change it to a clear bar. So with me constantly changing my bar from a clear bar to a normal stainless steel bar, my nose kept getting seriously infected. So if this is something you guys need to consider is, will your school be okay with it? Um, because to be honest, changing it, the piercing itself, for that first year was horrible. No matter, I, I'd change it, I'd be constantly cleaning my nose with um, antiseptic um, sprays um, that are meant for piercings and my nose would get so infected it would ooze pus. I've never had a piercing as infected as my nose got within the first year but every day I'd have to keep switching it out into my clear bar because my school is so strict about it so I really recommend that if you are going to the school which won't allow you to have piercings and you can't get away with it then probably don't get it done until you're at least finished school. Um, pretty much the my last few years of school as a senior, they didn't really care as much, me having a nose piercing, so I did kind of get away with having it, you know. Um, now I can take my nose stud out for, I could take it out forever, and <laughs> I mean, I don't think my hole is going to really close up now, but um, overall, it it is quite sore and quite tender when you do first get it pierced. Um, the pain of getting it pierced, um, to be honest, it's it's not painful, but I'm really used to piercings now myself. Um, they say that a nose piercing is quite like a bee or a wasp sting. If you guys have ever been stung by a bee or wasp, I guess you can compare it to that. I've never been stung by anything, but um, it's quite a sharp sting when you get it pierced. Um, but it, it, overall it's okay, it swells a little bit, you just keep cleaning it. Um, I found it, it bled a lot, you had a lot of crusty um, blood around it, but you just clean it with a cotton swab, I guess. Um, what else is there? It's really hard thinking back this long, you guys, I'm really sorry, but you guys wanted this video, so um, again, like I said, don't probably change it. Um, for a while just say you did want to change it to a hoop or something make sure you do it every in like a few week intervals because 
if you're doing it too much they do get infected um, always make sure that your body piercer shows you the positioning of where they're going to pierce it um, I love the way mine is positioned not being vain or anything but um, you have the crease of your nostril I'll just get closer to you guys so the where, where it's meant to be pierced is you have your crease of your nostril that comes in where it stops is exactly where you are meant to get it pierced which is where mine is a lot of people get them pierced too low and it looks kind of silly in my opinion so make sure you f they follow the crease of your nostril and um, where it is pierced is where the crease ends I guess if that makes sense if you get it done too low I don't know I just personally feel they look funny just always make sure that your body pierces shows you um, the positioning because if you don't like it then you know you pretty much stuck with it I guess um, but it's, it's, it's a pretty basic piercing, to be honest, if you're wanting to get into facial piercings and you don't know where to start, I think a nose piercing is a good way to start. It's a pretty straightforward piercing, really easy to take care of. Pain is nothing, to be honest, it's like getting your ears pierced. Um, it's just a really straightforward facial piercing, and to be honest, I think a nose piercing looks good on anyone, on guys, on girls, on any form of a nose, a big nose, a small nose. Um, I just think a nose piercing works all the time. So um, I'll talk about jewellery. Um, you can get um, different kind of gauges, I guess, if that makes sense of a nose stud. I'm, I'm trying to think of what mine is. I think mine is, I think my width is a 16 or an 18. Um, bar but I'm not a hundred percent on that I'm really sorry guys but um anyway um the jewelry I usually wear is I've got my um stainless steel nose hoop which is just a um normal nose hoop that you put in your nose and my n my usual studs that I always wear are um like this here I hope you guys can see it's quite a big rhinestone stud and it has a curved hook at the bottom You'll find that nose piercing jewellery has a lot of different ends and stuff. There's just the normal hook, there's the twist hook like this, and then there's the straight ones. Um, I think the twists are better. They're harder to get in and out, but they don't come out of your nose. Um, you'll find a lot if you just have the straight bar or even the hooked one. Um, you'll be wiping your face with a towel or something and it will get caught and it will rip out. And it's not fun, especially when you've just gotten it pierced. Um, but these are good and I actually got this in a hundred pack um, for a few bucks off eBay. A lot of people are controversial about buying body jewelry off eBay but if you're buying it from a wholesale body jeweler um, that does wholesale stainless steel body jewelry then it's completely fine. I always recommend getting stainless steel um, uh, facial jewelry because if you get silver or gold it can poison your bloodstream and it's not a good thing so always get stainless steel um, there's another one you can get too but I still recommend stainless steel is the best and you can get tinted stainless steel too so if you like black jewelry or gold or whatever you can get that in stainless steel but um, I don't know why people's issue have issues with getting body jewelry off eBay if they're authentic stainless steel so it all just depends where you're buying it off you know they should have a proper description a manufactured website um, telling you guys where the jewelry is from so you know as long as you know what you're doing it's completely fine getting your studs from wherever but eBay in my opinion is a good place to buy no studs for cheap and so it's a good idea having a few at a time because if you do lose one you've got one to go back in your nose and replacement um, I remember when I was first had it pierced um, in the first few years I'd lose a stud and I'd have to go out and I'd pay like $15 at the local um, uh, hair house warehouse to buy um, more stainless steel jewelry and it's not cheap and it's always just good having a few on hand so I've got hundreds and hundreds of these um, studs now so I will not lose them I only have one hoop but um, I don't wear my hoop that much and it doesn't come out of my nose as easy so yeah I think that's really it you guys I don't really know what else to say about this I'm sorry if I was kind of awkward during this video it's just hard me trying to think back that far um to 
when I first got my nose pierced but I hope this helped you guys it's a really straightforward piercing and I do recommend it if you're you know just starting in the facial piercing scene or whatever you want to call it and you just want a pretty straightforward piercing um, I think a nose piercing is perfect for your style it was the first pe facial piercing I ever got so yeah um, as long as you take care of it it should be fine if there's anything I missed or you guys have any questions just comment down below because there's bound to be stuff that I missed because I feel like I haven't been talking for that long but I might have so I don't know but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video thumbs it up if you did um, like I said any more comments regarding nose piercings just comment down below and I will try and refresh my memory as much as I can for you guys um, and links down below to my social networking sites and two previous videos so I hope you guys enjoy this video I guess um, and I hope you have a fantastic day